And these symptoms really reflect just chronic inflammation. And is the bacteria or, you know, whatever's like growing locally, whether it's E. coli or, you know, what you're finding in the film, is that seeping into the system and causing the inflammation or is it taking away, it's, it's pulling resources from the immune system so that other stuff is able to sprout up and, you know, UTIs, et cetera? So we just interviewed the scientist who laid most of this out. His name is Dr. Mathun. Cena, and he's at Indiana University Medical Center, where I happened to train many, <laughs> many eons ago. And he's shown Hoosiers? that. Hoosiers? Is that Hoosiers? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A long time ago. Um, he has shown that the bacteria, the biofilm, the aggregation of bacteria, as they interact with the breast tissue, it helps produce and oxidize molecules called oxylipins. And it's these molecules that interact with you, uh, your immune system, we'll say that way, just keep it simple. And that can lead to the symptoms, chronic fatigue, dry eyes. So oxylipins in this situation are the molecules that are acting badly and they are shown to be higher in patients who are more symptomatic with BII who have these bacteria. So it doesn't explain like everything. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is it. It's all done. But instead of people being gaslit or told they're not experiencing what they know they're experiencing mm -hmm. or it's all in their head or, or whatever you've been told, there is an actual scientific basis 